Heather, most of us have probably wondered if we'd been forgotten, waiting to be seen by a doctor. But I received an email from a viewer that I thought needed further inspection. Not only does he claim he'd been forgotten, but that he'd been forgotten after being strapped into a machine for a test. David Montgomery of Lake George works with a heavy-duty sewing machine every day. But the canvas boat maker was facing a different machine recently, an MRI, something like this one, designed for orthopedic use. Just to find out what is going on with my knees. He says the folks at Orthopedic Associates of Saratoga saw him at 11 a.m. Tuesday. You're up in that, your legs in that machine right up, right up into the, the, uh, the joint of your hip, actually. And no, you're locked in place, that seat And they lock that seat in place so you can't move. After about 30 minutes, the tech signaled through an observation window the process was complete. She said, you're all done. I'll be in in a minute to let you out. Dave waited and waited. 10, 15, 20 minutes, nothing. So I yelled out, hello, is anybody there? No answer. And then... The light had gone out in the tech's room. After nearly an hour, he saw a release pedal for the seat behind him. He managed to drop something on it and freed himself and emerged from the exam room. To a completely empty office. Dave says he couldn't believe it. He'd been forgotten. I visited Orthopedics of Saratoga today for their story, but got none. A woman I spoke to in the practice said that there was no one around to give me a comment on camera, but added that they're bound by patient confidentiality laws. I explained I wasn't looking for patient information, but rather an admission that such an incident had happened and what their thoughts were on it. She took my contact information and said perhaps someone would get a hold of me later in the afternoon. I was never contacted, neither was Dave, until he told him he'd called Channel 6. He says he knows it was a mistake, but just wanted someone to apologize. It wasn't life or death, and it was certainly an accident. But there was, there's, they're lacking in, in accountability of their patients and procedures. It could have been an older person or somebody was claustrophobic. Somebody should have picked the phone up and said, hey, we're sorry. Again, David did finally receive an apology from the office this morning, but after he had mentioned the story might end up on the news. He says he has no concerns about the quality of care he's received there, but thinks some steps should be taken to keep someone else from being forgotten.